Welcome to creating arithmetic questions in the question library demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create an arithmetic question in a section in your question library. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create arithmetic style questions in any assessment. First, log in to your D12 Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the course tools drop down menu. Then choose the Assessments link. Notice the tabs across the top. Manage Assessments, Question Library, Statistics, and Lockdown Browser. Click on the Question Library tab. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the new drop-down button, click on the Arithmetic Question. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so will make the question text show up as the title. You can leave the points value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. In the question text field, enter in your question. Example, if you have X apples and Y oranges, how many pieces of fruit do you have? Notice that the variables are enclosed with curly braces. This tells the computer that X and Y are variables that will be defined for this question. If you want to add an image to go along with this question only, click the Insert an Image button. In the Formula area, enter in your formula. Be sure to put the variables inside braces. Example, X plus Y. The Answer Precision box tells the computer how many places after the decimal to use when determining if the answer is correct or not. This example sets the answer precision to one place after the decimal, which means an answer of 10 must be written as 10.0. Check the Enforce Precision box if you want D2L to mark the answer wrong if the incorrect number of decimals is used. Set the tolerance depending on how much error you will allow in the question. If you set the tolerance as units plus or minus 0 0.3, then an answer of 10 will be acceptable if it falls between 9.7 and 10.3. You can also set the tolerance to a percentage of the answer. Enter your units. In this example, our units are fruit. Enter the percentage of this question's value that the units will get. We'll set this to 10%. Now we get to the variables. We use the variables in the question inside the braces but here we do not enter the braces. Put a variable name in each name box. Next, set the range for the variable x. Example, min 1, max 5, decimal places 1, step 1. This means that when the computer chooses an x value, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest x it can choose is 1. The highest is 5. It can choose a number using a step of 1. This means it can only choose 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, set the range for the variable y. Example, min 3, max 7, decimal places 1, step 0.5. This means that when the computer chooses a y value, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest y it can choose is 3, and the highest is 7. It can choose a number using a step of 0.5. This means it can only choose 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5 
6, 6.5, and 7. Now, click the Test button next to your formula. Notice the variables and the sample values chosen. Notice the formula, the solution with units, and the range. Make sure that the formula is acting the way you expected it to act. Then click Done. If at any point you would like to see what the question will look like, you can click on the Preview button at the bottom. Once you have finished previewing the question, select Done to go back to the Edit screen. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so that you can just edit this question's information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this question type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new blank question of this question type. When you are finished making changes, click on the Save button in the bottom left corner. You have now successfully created an arithmetic question in the question library.